Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do a granny square. For this I will be using three colours. Blue, cream and pink. So let's begin. My centre colour I'm going to start with the brown, cream, whichever colour um, you see on camera. Right, so first what we're going to do is make a magic loop. You might notice I use magic loop for all my projects. So you create a cross around your fingers like so. And then you put your hook at the bottom. Pull the top yarn through, loop it around, get your working yarn and pull it through the loop. So now we have our magic loop, we're going to work three double crochets, a corner, three double crochets, a corner until we have four corners. So I'll chain two here. So that would give me a total of three, one, two, three chains. And now I'm going to make two more for my corner. One, two. I will now make three double crochets. One, two, and three, like so. I now have another corner to do, so I'll make two chains, one, two, and now I'll create another three double crochets. So, one, two, and three. We've now reached another corner, so I'm going to make another two double crochets. I mean two chains. Right, we've done our two chains, so now I'm going to do another three double crochets. One, two and three. So that's our first corner, our second corner, our third corner and this chain two will make our fourth corner. So the original we done we did, we did three chains and then another two chains. The first three chains will count as a double crochet. So in that case we only need two more and this one will act as our third one. So, one and two. Go ahead and tighten the loop like so to get a nice tight center. Now I'm going to slip stitch and join on top of the third chain I did. So if I flip this around, it will be one, two, and three. That's the third one I did. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into there. So that's where you just pull your yarn through the loop. We've done the base, and this is probably the hardest part of this pattern. So after you've done this, it's pretty much straightforward from, from here. So I'm just going to snip my yarn. That's my center done. And then I'm just going to pull this out like so. And I'm just going to weave it in and out. This is how I prefer to end my round. But if you've got another way, please go ahead. So I just like to put my hook in there. In this chain space and pull my yarn to the back of the work. Like so. This is just something I prefer doing because I feel it looks a bit neater. So now we're going on to round two. For round two, I'll be using this lovely blue yarn. So for round two, you can really join anywhere you like. Don't worry too much about these ends because we will be um, weaving them in and I have a video tutorial I'll put in the description on how to do that. So. Let's go ahead and do round two. 
pull your yarn through and tie it on like so. Now, this round is going to be pretty similar to what we did. However, it's just going to be three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. So we'll start with a chain three and this will act as our first double crochet. In the same space, do another two double crochets. One and two. And then you will chain two for a corner. In the same space, you'll do another three double crochets. One, two, and three. You've now done one corner, so we're just going to repeat what we did in this corner in all the other corners. So let's move on to the next one. One, two, three, three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets into the same space. So one, two, and three. We'll now move on to the next one where we repeat the same thing. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two for a corner. And then we'll do another three double crochets into the same space. One, two, and three. And we're now moving on to our last corner, which is here. We are now going to do another three double crochets. One, two, three. In the same space, I want you to do another chain two and another three double crochets in that space one two and three by now you should see your square forming so we're just going to slip stitch on top of here into the third chain we did to complete our round so I'm just going to go into this space here and join. I'm just going to cut this off and we can see how we're looking for round three. So I'm just going to pull this through and I'm going to put my hook through here, get my yarn, pull it through and then go into this space from the back here and then pull my yarn to the back of the work. So now you should see a little square forming and we're ready for round three. For round three, I'll be using this lovely pink color and we can start anywhere we like. So let's start in the middle here. So I'm going to put my hook through, pull my pink yarn through and tie it on. So in each space in between, you'll do three double crochets and then the corners is where you do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So let's put our hook in, Just start with a chain three, work another two double crochets in that same space. And that's it. No chaining in between or anything. You can just carry on and go straight to the next space, which is a corner. So we'll do three double crochets. One, two, three. Now we'll chain two because this is a corner and we'll double crochet three more into that same corner one, 
two and three. We've now reached the space in between, which we'll do three double crochets like we did here. So one, two, and three. Like so. Now we've reached a corner, so we'll do three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, and then another three double crochets. One, two, and three. Now we've reached the center again, so this is where you'll repeat this three double crochet. One, two, and three. So please carry on as we've been doing. So this is a corner, this is a space for three double crochet, and this is a corner. Please carry on and I'll meet you when I get to this corner. Welcome back. As you can see, I've now reached um, my final corner and I've completed it. So I'm going to slip stitch on top of the third chain and complete this round. So after you complete this round, I'm going to show you one more and then you've got the concept on how to make it bigger and bigger. So I'll show you this next round. Just gonna pull it through and just pull it through again. Right, we've got a nice little square forming and I'll show you another round. This is how you can increase it. So in each space, you'll do a chain three and each corner, you'll do the same thing that we've done for every corner. So I'll demonstrate this row for you and then pause the video so you can catch up and take your time. I'm gonna tie my yarn onto this corner. And then as usual, we start with a chain three And then we will chain a double crochet two more into that same corner. And then we will chain two. And after that, you'll work another three double crochets in here. One, two, and three. Now we've gone going to the next space and we will do three double crochets in there and three double crochets in there. So one, two, and three. Next space, another three double crochets. One, two, and three. I'll show you this last corner before I pause the video. One, two, and three. As it's a corner, we will chain two. One, two, and then we'll work another three double crochets. One, two, and three. Right, so you're going to go ahead and do this very same thing that we've done, corner, three double crochet, three double crochet, corner, and you don't need to chain or do anything in between those. Right, so we're back. I'm now coming towards the end of my square. So I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of the third chain and then fasten off. So I'm just going to do a chain and then snip my yarn off and I'm just going to pull it towards the front and then 
I'm just going to come in between one of these double crochets from the back and I'm going to pull it so I'm going to come through here and I'm just going to pull it at the back again so that's how I finish off my squares I'm just going to do one more round to explain to you how to carry on and then we'll finish off the video right so I've started the next round but I just wanted to quickly explain to you that from now you could do this square as big as you like but always in between just do three double crochets and do the corners as you normally would right and this is the square now done if you've enjoyed this tutorial please subscribe and I'll also leave all my um, social media links in the description box below so you can follow my daily updates thank you so much for watching